New tonight, we're hearing from the father of a 10 year old boy injured in the passenger seat of the family van. They were simply riding along when a glass bottle came flying in and tonight police are searching for suspects. This all happened on Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia's Logan neighborhood. Alicia Nieves is at police headquarters tonight and she spoke with the boy's father about the ordeal and the recovery. Alicia. Well, Yuki, the father of the 10 year old says that his son had to be taken to the hospital, received several stitches to his face, but he is going to be OK. Tonight, the father, though, really wants some help in identifying the teens who he says not only hurt his son, but are still terrorizing his neighborhood. Philadelphia police are looking for this group of teens. In particular, the teen seen wearing a short sleeve black shirt with a rooster on it. Authorities have just released this surveillance video showing the group walking down Lindley Avenue in the Logan section of the city last Thursday. The teen with the rooster logo shirt throws a heavy liquor bottle at a moving van. This bottle smashed the front passenger window of the van, hitting a 10 year old boy right in the head. His mother was driving. No, she was, you know, very upset. She, you know, and she's crying all that because my son get her, you know. This man who didn't want to show his face is the 10 year old's father. He says his wife had just left their home. My wife, she took my son, mm -hmm. she just tried to go to the park just for playing, you know, oh. just to be fun, you know, get and fun. Then... And uh, right in the corner, when she's, she's throwing. That's when the teens threw the bottle. While we were interviewing this dad today, though, three teens looking a lot like the teens in the video began yelling behind our cameras, telling the dad not to talk to us. And then the teens threw a handful of rocks at us before running away. These kids definitely uh, need to be identified because if they're committing acts like this in broad daylight, it displayed a wanton disregard for public safety. Um, and people oftentimes say, well, they're kids, but this, this act that they committed could have resulted in very dire consequences. And again, Philadelphia police want anyone who knows the identity of the teens to please come forward and contact Northwest detectives. Of course, we did report the incident that happened during our interview, and we're told detectives were heading back to the neighborhood, hopefully to catch the teens. Outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.